Hello everyone and welcome to another Sunday showcase. Today we are looking at a seal restaurant and no that's not where you get seals to eat but this is actually a restaurant where you can eat and watch the seals so pretty much uh, similar to what you guys have seen with my hippo habitat and this one is made by Kingdom uh, just another build from Kingdom that we are showing off. Before we go into just a little heads up for those guys uh, who still don't know but I'm doing this Sunday showcase on a regular basis and if you guys are interested uh, to have your item showcased make sure to jump in my discord there is a dedicated thread called the showcase collection and there you can drop down your blueprints and every sunday i'm going to choose one or sometimes even two um depending on how much time i have and how big or small the assets are but this one over here is also called the poseidon restaurant again made by kingdom and it is a park file actually um which is mostly with these aquatic things unfortunately because of the placement of water and so on um the blueprints get a bit finicky so yeah, but I have to say um, this this whole thing and we don't have guests in here because it's not really connected um, to any entrance. Now this thing over here is in particular very important uh, for me because I love this shabby chic 80s style. So this whole thing is really built as in a 70s, maybe 80s or, or, or like early 90s build. I would say a late 80s, early 90s. Very typical, loads of concrete, loads of, of, of pale colors. Um, gets a little bit into the navy kind of northern sea kind of vibe. Um, very, very loads of blue grayish tones and I love uh, partly the yeah, the aesthetics of it, even though I would, you know, from nowadays standards, I don't find it very aesthetically pleasing, but I love the aesthetics of it. I love some little details, like, for example, the lamppost um, over here, or kind of, you know, the fence, how it's done with these, uh, I think it's brackets from the font. So very cool stuff, and also the path design is very neat with all the waveforms in it. And even like this, I even love this fountain, uh, because of its, like... Um, yeah, how it actually works together with the light bluish stuff, you know, these kind of things have been done in the 90s in particular. I remember German zoos all of a sudden were cluttered with these kind of very blue, light bluish uh, pools everywhere. And they look fancy at the beginning, but they, they start to look very shabby in like no time as soon as their little bit dirt is coming in. But yeah, so there's a lot of cool stuff. You have like a little lovely water element going on, water effect. Just a tiny little bit of criticism here, Kingdom, but that's the only thing I saw. I would have just taken that wall and continued that through to here because that, you know, that pattern doesn't match up with this one. But that's just a very, very tiny thing that I figured maybe other people just don't find that uh you know annoying or whatever and then i love this is the restaurant sign but in this frame over here it almost vanishes into the sky i kind of like this even though it's just a tiny detail that wasn't even meant to be is there anything in here by the way no it's just a little pool of water so we're going to go for the main entrance and now the 90s aesthetics really comes into play oh boy look at that one it kind of looks also like a little bit of a ship which i think is um very much um, intentional so that looks like one of these big cruisers you know um, like uh, Disney high seas and stuff like that I don't even know how they all are called or the Aida and all these, these kind of things um, love these bullseye window patterns and this corner over here reminds me of uh, the boardwalk hotel in Disney World Florida I remember we've been there um, this was pretty much a carbon copy of this element with the swooping a little uh, concrete wall and then the kind of uh, seating possibilities in the front and then this one was actually a fountain over there for the kids to play in i actually used to play in there a lot i was eight years old so i enjoyed that a lot but yeah so the main entrance is uh, to the left hand side over here so you can see there is the stuff uh, path going to the back and this is where the entrance is and oh boy look <laughs> look at that i just love how shabby it looks but in a good way you know don't 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 get me wrong in a very good way and now we are already in and it continues through in the interior design you know we've got the aircons up here now it's a different pattern of blue we've got a little penguin over here i don't even know why because it's for the seals but i love this little penguin uh, we've got the arctic map <laughs> i i just adore that that's so cool so cleverly done um yeah we have a cool little um almost like small exhibit even if it's not um it's like fake with water in uh, i really like that and then we have uh, this little yeah it's chief beef in the corner chief beef in the corner and then you can grab something else over here and then if you go further you go into this actual seating area and then you really have a small exhibit this time over here um i think i never thought these back patterns to be honest i've never put them in but that's interesting to see because that's where the this should be for the terrapin right there is the terrapin look at that i love the model oh it's tired just like me uh, 
I uh, I didn't know that this exists, like with these uh, outer rims. And that's that's fancy. I did not know that. And I think whatever you place down here, it looks kind of cool to just blend that in with the with the back walls. That looks really cool indeed. And uh, are there other little terrapins in the water? Not really though. But okay. Um, and then over here, this is this is where the real fun begins. On the left hand side, you have like another fake habitat, which I like a lot because this is what you do. This is how you this is how you make us happy, you know, with these kind of fake little things. And then over here, you have the viewing of our seals, and then you can see them dive in. You know, wait, let me just go a little bit further. There you go. The seals are diving in here. Um, it's kind of cool to see, and it seems to be also uh, because of the update that they seem to be pretty easily navigatable through here, even though there is this big shipwreck in the middle um, and all these kind of things. So it's pretty cool to watch them. So you sit down over here, you have this view and can actually watch the seals. There's one idling over here. But of course, you can also go all the way up all the way up there you go let's go up oh i love i love that wall pattern oh this is so cool this is so cleverly done you could have actually used wait what i don't know what's below but if there's nothing below you could have actually used the waterfall pieces to simulate water that would be fancy as well and up here it's all getting a uh, very cool because we do have um see what seals eat we do have like that's so cool like i say the food preparation right around the corner um that's pretty decent that's pretty cool indeed. Um, and then you have um, a few facts about the seals, which uh, is rather cool, you know. You can see they can dive uh, up to 300 meters of depth. That's pretty cool. Um, these are seal whiskers. Then they can detect fish from over 100 meters. Um, very cool. And then they will eat that, basically. And I love the fact that these are all handmade. Are they handmade, though? Or are these the wall patterns? No, no, these are the wall patterns, I guess. But looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. Then we have like obviously the education pattern here. Um, have a lot of water animals there. And then how do you measure up? Huh. Wait, is that actually a meter? That's not completely correct, is it? Because I figured that's like four meter of a, of a width, anyways. I think that's just like to simulate, I guess. I'm not too sure though, but I think it's to simulate. Uh, do seals uh, drink water? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Um, well, if you ask me like that, I would say no, because they will, I think, I'm not sure though, you know, please don't quote me on that. That's just very dangerous uh, non-knowledge here, but I think they get all the water from the fish they eat, um, or like not the water, but the liquid they need. Um, are gray seals found in Antarctica? No, I don't think so, because, wait, wait no. Um, I think in, they are found in Antarctica or the other way around. No, actually not, because they, they can be eaten by the penguins weren't the ones. But they are found in Antarctica, right? Um, well, I don't know too much. A group of grey seals are called rookeries. I have no clue. Watch the video uh, to see if you're right. There's no video playing. I can't. But this is a very cool, cool thing to do. You know, because I still have no idea if I were right or not. Um, I love this one over here, like almost like a little education pattern. Very cool indeed. And then this is where you can see this all from above. Very cool. Oh, look at that. There's a big boy lying over here on this thing. I love how they just like, when they're breathing, how, do you, how you just see the belly moving up and down. Animation-wise, that's so cool. It really gives you the, f the, the feel of the weight of this animal, how it's lying on here. You gotta have to say that this is very beautifully done. This looks pretty believable how it lies down here. Very neat, very neat. And then you have to see this is where they can hide away in the back. Um, and then I love this half-ish, what is this even? Um, it, it almost looks like a, a window pane or whatever. Um, you could even imagine that they could drop that down, not sure though. And I can see them swimming in the back, I love that. How you can see the shade just a little bit of them playing and tolling in the water. Look! That is so cool. That is so freaking cool. Yeah, it's still pretty cool that we have diving animals now. That is pretty, pretty, pretty damn impressive. I can I can only say how much I like it. It is really cool. So, and then I saw someone going into this door. I'm, I'm just going to do that. Is this... Ooh, look, this is what we... We haven't been here, but this is where you can go as well. This is to the outside. Uh-huh. Something to sit down. Very nice indeed. Oh my god, I would love a... I'd love... Oh... Oh my god, oh, I want a donut. I want a donut. Actually, my wife is going to is, is grocery shopping right now. Maybe she can bring, bring one. I'm going to send her a message. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm just literally doing that. If this works, um, 
I will I will make a photo and put this on my community wall, honestly. Um, if that works, this is going to be great, honestly. So, sorry for the little break. I this just came to my mind. I just want. I just want them. I just want them now. Gosh, I'm so... Oh. Oh God. I don't know why this never happened before, but I just was so much in awe with it. Oh wait, no, no, no. Oh, I love, I love how this is done with the um, fence pieces, with the smaller ones that used to be in already, and these are the the old ones that haven't been in here yet. Um, can we also go up there? No, I don't think so. But where do we get if I go in here? Uh huh. Am I meant to be here? I'm not too sure though. I think I'm not. It's just like another door. I think I'm not meant to be here, to be honest. Let's go back in. Oops, there you go. Um, so yeah, this is it. Uh, like this little bit here. Now what we will need to do, of course, is see if we missed out on anything. I think we didn't. This is still down here. So it's the moment for us to crash into the habitat. Wonderful. Look at that. Like a little... Looks almost like uh, that they can swim here to go and hide away. Uh, look at this. Yeah, that works pretty well. That works pretty well with them swimming down here. They seem also have enough uh, diveable area, obviously. This little chest over here is kind of cool, a little treasure chest. How do we get up there? Do we even get up there? Oh, whoops, uh, no. This is not how we get there. So I'm gonna go all the way out and I'm gonna go to the backside here. Uh, I know that, you know, this is just the backside. I just put up down these two things because I needed them, but just want to go all the way to the back and then in here, and where do we go? Is this the entrance? Yeah, yeah, that, that's where we are in the habitat. Lovely, look at that, guys. We're on the other side. There's one, one dude coming up to us. Hello, how are you doing? How are you doing? The Seal Education Center, I can see it in the back. <laughs> and this little balloon is popping to, towards us. I love that. All right, let's jump out of Tajit Cam and have a little look how this building appears from the outside. It really looks like a little bit like a ship, to be honest, and I, I kind of like this. That's pretty cool. Um, it's very stretched out into the length, but it doesn't really seem to be. And honestly, it, I think it really well fits into like a city zoo. This is like a typical city zoo build. And oh boy, I'm really happy. Kingdom, you did a great job on that one. It looks fairly simple, but yet again, it looks fantastic. Oh wait, we didn't get here, right? You know, this looks also like a little bit of a hotel, to be honest. Wait, where have we been? How do we get even, how do we even get here? Wait, do we even get here? Oh, no, 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 no. These are like implied. Ah, that's so clever. This is like an implied little staircase area. Okay, now I get it. All right, all right, okay. That's, that was me being stupid. Um, But yeah, really cool. Really cool stuff. And um, Kingdom, <clears throat> that's really cool. I totally, if I would still do the City Zoo, this could be a thing I put in there. Unfortunately, it's not really that easy to make this a, a blueprint, which is a sad thing to do uh, or to say, but uh, this is not your fault. This is the way how the blueprints work. Uh, so that's a little bit of a pity. But other than that, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed today's little showcase. I certainly did enjoy it a lot because um, that's I, I love to show sometimes just one habitat or like a build like this. So in case you want, just put it down. And other than that, as always, guys, if you enjoy this and you want to see more of that and keep uh, posted about what I'm doing, hit that little subscribe button to the bottom right of the screen. Um, and then uh, I'm the most happy camel in the world. And you will also make my chair happy because chairman is always at my back, as you know. And <laughs> I wish you guys all the best for this weekend. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope to speak to you soon. Have a good time. Stay safe and goodbye.